we are going to talk about how freight brokers make money and we're going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough. I'm going to share with you every step, every rung on the ladder that you have to touch as a pro as the part of the process of brokering a load because we are freight brokers or freight agents. This applies to both, okay? So whether you're looking to be a freight broker or a freight agent, this process, this breakdown applies to both of you. So number one, step number one is you have to contact your shipper, right? So you will then contact your shipper either by phone or by email or face-to-face, -face, but you need to start a conversation. That's where it all begins. And that's where some of you struggle, but that's step number one. You need to contact your shipper, all right? or your shipping prospect, right? Who's your prospect, potential prospect. In most cases, you don't know who they are, but that's step number one, all right? Step number two is you as a broker need to provide that shipper a freight quote. At some point, you're gonna have to quote a load. You're gonna have to quote some freight. Maybe they have a van load that goes from Buffalo to Atlanta every week, and maybe that's the load that you're gonna try to quote on. Maybe that's where they need help. You're gonna then provide them a freight quote. It's going to be, typically we're talking about truckload quotes. It could be partial, it could be LTL, but typically with brokers, it's mainly full truckload. And so you're going to provide a freight quote to your potential shipper, right? So that's step number two is freight quote. Step number three is assuming that the shipper accepts your quote, okay, and that they approve you as a vendor, they are then going to tender you a load. Now what a tender means is it's an offer to take this load. So if you submit rates to a shipper like we did in step two, if a shipper then tenders you a load, it means they're sending you an offer for a load. You will then need to accept that offer and now that load is yours and the shipper is gonna check that off their list and they now know you as ABC broker are handling that load for them. It's a dedicated load. So that's step number three is they offer you a tender you then accept, okay? Step number four, assuming that they are a brand new customer, right, and you've never done business with them before, you are then going to approve their credit. You're typically not going to approve the credit until you have a tender. A lot of times shippers do not want to set, uh, do credit apps before they're ready to send loads to you. Sometimes it can vary, but ultimately, if it's a first-time shipper, you are going to have to approve credit. You're going to have to run credit on them some way, either that be done in Bradstreet or maybe you're using a factoring company. They're going to help you do it, but ultimately, you have to run and approve credit. That's step number four. Okay, now that you've got the tender with all the load details, which is you know the pick and drop and times and details about the shipment, and you've approved credit... The next step, number five, is you need to take those details from that load tender and you need to post that load on your favorite load boards. Whatever load board that is, whether that be the DAT or in a truck stop or one, two, three load boards or direct freight or whatever, whatever load board, your favorite load board or load boards are, you are then going to post the details of that load, the origin, the destination, the equipment types, the pickup dates, the drop dates, all of those details you're going to post, and that's going to create visibility for carriers that are searching for loads. So that's a very important step. And then from there, after you post that load, you're going to have to find a truck. You're going to have to find a truck to cover that load. Typically, finding a truck is going to come in one of two formats, particularly as a startup. One is when you post that load, carriers are going to start to call you if it's a desirable load. And you will see trucks on your load board that match that load. So you'll do a search based on different parameters on the load board and you will see trucks that are available to haul that load and then you will call them. So it's either an inbound call from a carrier or you need to reach out to them, contact them and discuss and find a carrier. Once you find and negotiate a carrier, right, step number six is now done, right? So we went through the first six steps. We now found a carrier. The next step after we find a carrier is we need to send the broker carrier setup packet to the carrier. So we need to send them some documents, you know, as a part of our broker carrier setup pack. We'll send that to the carrier. And then the next step is the carrier will then send back a copy, send a signed copy of the broker carrier agreement as well as proof of insurance, right? So those are the two main things that a carrier is gonna have to send you back is a signed broker carrier agreement, which is, this is again, this is, um, again, this is step number eight. We did step number seven, which was sending them the carrier 
broker carrier packet. Step number eight is the carrier then sends that signed broker carrier agreement back with proof of insurance, okay? So now we've done step eight. Step number nine is the broker will then send a rate confirmation to the carrier, assuming that they vetted the carrier and the paperwork is all in line, the broker will then send a rate confirmation, which is details about the load, you know, the, the origin, the destination, the pickup dates, the pickup times, you know, and, and it's basically like a one page contract, like a one page agreement that the carrier will then sign and send back. Okay. So the carrier signs and returns a rate confirmation. That's uh, step number 10. Okay. Step number 11 is Broker then dispatches the driver into the pickup location on the day of the load, right? So the day the load is going to pick up, the broker will dispatch the driver into the pickup location to make sure that they're going to pick the load up in time. That's number 11. Number 12, step number 12 is after the pickup has been confirmed with the driver, the broker is then going to do daily check calls on the load every day, they're going to call every day on that load to touch base with that driver to make sure that the driver is on time until they deliver, right? Those are also known, aka known as check calls, right, in the industry, right? So that's step number 12. Step number 13 is the broker ultimately is responsible to ensure that, that, the, that the freight delivers on time in good condition with no damage, right? So that's 13. That's your overall end goal of that process. So that's step number 13. Step number 14 is the carrier will then send an invoice to you. The carrier is going to invoice the broker and include with their invoice a signed copy of the bill of lading and any other shipping documents or manifests associated with the load. The broker invoices the shipper and then the broker is responsible for paying the carrier on time based upon the terms of the invoice or the terms of the broker carrier agreement. Typically the terms are 30 days. You want to pay carriers as quick as you can. All right. So number step number 16 is the broker is going to pay, uh, the broker pays the carrier before the due date on the invoice. And then step number 17, which is the final uh, and the best part of the whole process is when the broker receives payment from the shipper, right? So we just walked through 17 steps. Now, I got very granular on this process. Some people would summarize this in five or six steps, which you probably could if you did it at a very high level. But I got very, very granular on this process because I wanted you to understand the, the, the real process of what it takes to move a load from quoting the freight all the way through to not only delivery, but actually getting paid by the shipper. Okay. So again, I'm going to do a quick run through step one, broker contact shipper. Step two, broker provides shipper freight quote. Step three, shipper tenders load to broker. Step four, broker approves credit on shipper. If they're a first time shipper, step five, broker posts load on load board. Step six, broker finds a carrier to haul the load. Step seven, broker sends broker carrier packet to the carrier. Step eight, carrier sends back signed broker carry agreement and proof of insurance. Step nine, carrier signs and returns. Uh, actually, the broker. step eight, nine is broker sends rate confirmation with all the load details to the carrier. Step 10, the carrier signs and returns the rate confirmation to the broker. Step 11, the broker dispatches the driver into the pickup location on the day of the load. Step 12, after picking up uh, after pickup has been confirmed with the driver, the broker will then do daily check calls until the load is delivered. Step 13, the broker's job is to ensure and make sure that the, that the shipper's product delivers on time in good condition with no damage, right? With no issues. Step number 14 is carrier sends an invoice to the broker with a bill of late, a signed bill of lading. Step 15 is the broker then invoices the shipper with a copy of the bill of lading, signed bill of lading. Step 16 is the broker pays the carrier on time. And step 17 is the broker receives payment from the shipper on time. So I did a slow version and then I did a fast version, but that should give you a very good picture and a visual and an understanding of exactly how freight brokers make money. But I got very granular in this because I wanted you to understand the process. This is really important. This is where people get confused about what a broker does. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was valuable to you. 
If it was, do me a huge favor. One to 10 in the chat box. One meaning, Dennis, this sucked. It was useless. It was a waste of my time. Be totally honest. 10 meaning I absolutely needed this. This was important and I learned something. Anywhere in between, I'm happy. I just want honest feedback. Type it in the chat box and let me know. Greatly appreciate it. But for those of you that are curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Again, most cost-effective, comprehensive online freight broker training program. Trained over 8,000 students. Uh, been in business over a decade with this training program. Uh, and we offer a 60-day 100% money back guarantee. You literally have zero risk. Okay? So, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this.